Hello, hello guys! This is Zach Trusty, and today is episode number 5 of the Minecraft Redstone Guide. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's episode 5. Well, anyways, uh... Today we're going to look at logic gates. Now, logic gates are probably the most known thing in redstone. Most people refer to redstone, then they think logic gates. Usually, usually, most of the time. So, as you can see here, we've got a really basic circuit. We went covered uh, a few basic circuits in episode 3. Something simple to wire your door up. Now, things are going to get a little more complex. Now, maybe you have multiple signals, or maybe you you know, want to do things with multiple levers or inputs, then things get a little complicated. Maybe you want something to happen here if you flip both, or I don't know. So this is where we get into the logic gates. So try and remember these. These might get a little complicated, and I'm going to also try and give you uh, guys a few examples of what you can use these logic gates for. So first one we have is the NOT gate. It's also known as an inverter. All it is, is if this is off, then that is on. If this is on, then that is off. Now all it is, is a redstone torch, like so. So, we have the power coming through, redstone torch, and sends along like that. That's a really basic uh, inverter. There are other ways too. Today we're just going to go over um, redstone, redstone logic gates, alright? And over here, there's another type of notch gate where we have it on the torch, like so. And there we are. If you don't know why I have blue and uh, magenta wool here, it's, you know, you haven't seen all the episodes, so we went over that in episode 2, so make sure to check that out too. Now with uh, not gates, or sometimes people call them inverters, we can do some cool stuff, like this. This is like a door. You come in here, you flip the lever, and it closes that door, but opens this one. So isn't that cool? And Last time we also looked at a little bit of timing, so that's why you can see that that one just um, activates slightly later. You can even hear it too. Anyways, let's move on. The next gate we have is the OR gate. Um, oh, actually, before we move on to that, this is the NOT gate, right? Now, I want to show you guys how I remember this. The NOT gate. It's like, uh, this is on, this is off, so it's NOT the signal. So if this is on, the signal is not that one. Yeah, there's just some something random I had to show you guys. Or gate, I remember it because it's this input or this input. So you could choose either one to activate it. So you flip this one on, they turn on, the output turns on. And if you flip this one, it turns on too. So you could choose this one, or you could choose this one to turn it on. And also, if you have both of them on, it still stays on too. It's just when they're both off, they are completely off. Now you can do this with multiple levers, uh, how far ever as you want. All we have it is just all going to the center, so turn this one on, turns it on, turn this on, it turns that on, turns this on, like that, and flip two of them, it turns on, three of them on, like so, or maybe, you know, all these different patterns. It's only when they're all off that the output turns off. So as you can see right there, it's just a bunch of uh, things feeding in to each other. You can see it like that, feeding into the block, and that's powering the redstone dust. So that's cool. Uh, what this is good for is if I have a button here, I can open this door. And on this side, I can also open the door too. So, you know, or open both doors up, something like that. That's pretty basic. And let's move on to the NOR gate. Now the NOR gate is basically the OR gate that we just showed you, but you just put in a redstone torch at the end and it inverts it. So, what it basically does is, this will be on whenever uh, n whenever these are both off. If this is off and this is off, then that's on. If this is on, then it turns off, just like before. Alright, now moving on, we have the AND gate. Now, I remember the AND gate because you have to flip this one and this one to get that to turn on. So, you can see it like that. If we have this on and this on, that turns on. If they're both off, then it does absolutely nothing. They have to both be on to activate. So as you can see, we just have redstone torches. Now, we must flip this off so it can turn off the redstone torches, therefore uh, depowering this redstone dust and allowing the signal to pass through that redstone torch. See, that turns off, and the redstone torch is allowed through. So yeah, that's very cool. And gate is very useful. Uh, you can y y hook up multiple ones of these. So I have to flip all of these down. One, two, 
three, four, and it turns on. One of them on will instantly, you know, wreck, wreck it, wreck the signal. And AND gates are pretty cool, because I usually like to use them for things like combination locks. So here's our code, one, three, four. So we flip one, three, and four. What? What is this? Oh, I, I think it's actually one, two, four. One, two, four. There we are, there's our door, whoops. It looks like my code was wrong. So all it is, is something like this. If I flip three, it turns off. Now this is because we have something else. This is called a NAND gate. Um, oh, actually, no, it's just a regular gate. But as soon as this is turned on, it's also going to turn on the signal too. So without it, you know, yeah. As you can see it right there. Uh, here's a NAND gate. This is completely different too. Turn both of these on, and the output will turn off. It's just basically getting rid of the inverter at the end. So, yeah. Okay, then we have the XOR gate. Alright, this is kind of like the OR gate, except for it's kind of like cross OR gate. I kind of remember it. So, it, if either one is on, like that, or it's not like that, one is on and one is off, then the output will turn on. If they are both on, however, it will turn off. If they're both on or they're both off, then it turns off. See? Something like that. Very cool. So there are many designs for this. Uh, this is a cool design. It just comes in here, like so. Alright, I'm just going to fly around a, a little bit around it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hopefully you can copy that. And here is a enlarged version of basically that, so you can see what happens. So we have the XOR gate. Now basically what happens is we have a lever here. Now as soon as this comes in, it's going to turn off this redstone torch, which is therefore going to depower the redstone dust line. Then these two will both turn on, and they'll therefore activate it. But at the same time, it's also going to turn off um, one of the blocks. So if I flip this lever, it turns off that redstone torch, but even though this is depowered, this is actually being powered by the lever too. But this one isn't, so it's allowed to be, have the signal sent through. Now this one, when this is turned on, this gets depowered and therefore no power gets through. So hopefully you can kind of see how that works. Very cool. And here's a uh, slab version of it where we use slabs um, to build with it. Uh, you just replace these the redstone torches here with uh, slabs and you put a slab there too. So yeah that's very cool as well. It works still the same. One on and one off. That turns on. Both on. Turns off. Like that. Cool. And here's a little um, idea I had when using this. So you flip this lever, door opens, go through, flip this lever, and the door closes. Because, you know, you can. they're both on now, therefore this will, you know. And now if we flip this up, now one's on and one's off, and we walk on through, and now one's on, one's off. Sorry about that little pause there, guys. If you didn't realize there were mobs popping up everywhere, so I had to just quickly change it to peaceful. And there are some other things you can do. I guess this may... It's, it doesn't really work out all that great, but I guess you can kind of have, like, uh, XOR gate with m more than two inputs, kind of like this. I don't know. Yeah, it, it doesn't really work out the, as great as having two two inputs. But yeah, it's just an idea. Alright, we also have the... Wow, I, I lost the sign here. Um, let's quickly throw down a sign. This is the XNOR gate. There we are. The XNOR gate. Now the XNOR gate is pretty cool. Uh, it's basically the same as the XOR gate. Except for the N just si signifies that it is negative. So it's the opposite. So this, if, if these are both off then it turns on, or if these are both on, it turns on. But if they're both not equal to each other, then it, you know, turns completely off. So that's pretty cool. Now, using all these logic gates, you should be able to come up with some cool things. You could be, be able to build doors and stuff to create some stuff. So I'll show you guys some other uses for this. Now we're going to show you guys how I usually build my redstone stuff. We usually start off with a plan and idea. So we have 
three parts to your redstone contraption. We've got the trigger, the event, and the action. So maybe, for example, we have a trigger, we have to push a button, and events. Now this is the circuitry part. Now, if the password is correct and the lock system is off. So if these conditions are met, then the push button will then activate the door. So yeah, it, you know, maybe if you, uh, you, you want to push a button to open the door, you have to enter the password first and make sure it's correct. And also you may need to make sure the lock system is off. Now I've built a little mock-up version of what I just explained right there. Pretty small, it's not actually all that confusing. So we have our push button to open the door. Then we have our lock system here. And then we also have a uh, lock door function. So that's all pretty cool. So as you can see, the door isn't going to open because our password is incorrect at the moment. Now the combo is 1-3, so 1-3. And then we should be able to push it, door opens. So we can push it in, hop on in, and go to our empty chest full of goodies. Uh, that made no sense. Uh, and then we can also lock the door, alright? So we can walk on out. And if we push the button now, it's not going to activate, even though we've got the correct passcode. So yeah, that means we can lock it, and then we can unlock it, and now we should be able to push it. There we are. And if we have one wrong, not going to open because the password is incorrect. So isn't that cool? You could build that in like your little safe for like a little safe. That would be pretty cool. So it's very simple. We have our passcode system. It's a basic AND gate, as you can see right here. So you just need to flip the uh, right levers. These ones here are powering it. Therefore, this is depowered. All right. Now, if you activate this lever or the fourth lever, however, it's going to send a signal through and therefore depower the redstone torch. Now this goes into a little tower, uh, vertical tower downwards. I show you guys that in some basic circuitry. And this goes into another AND gate. This should be pretty familiar. You guys should have seen that before. Uh, just a simple double AND gate. Now this is to show, this will turn on the um, door if the lock system is on. Alright, or off. So if the lock system is on, it will, uh, let's flip that on then this is going to turn on, and therefore it's going to lock the door. So that means the button push is going to do absolutely nothing, but if it's lock is off, plus the, uh, plus all of this is right, one and three, correct, and that will turn this off, therefore this will be depowered. This is also another AND gate, because we push this button and it opens. So nothing's happening to the door at the moment because it's already been powered, but if we push the button, there we are, it opens. Now if the passcode was incorrect, it would update that, and this would be on. And if we push this button, it does absolutely nothing, because it's already being powered, because this passcode is incorrect. So yeah, and now if we go to the uh, locked door, and you can see it goes to the other AND gate. Now if you're wondering how this thing is an AND gate, well let's take a little look into detail at what it is. So I broke it down a little bit, this is the thing from before. Alright, now this is basically an AND gate. Uh, if you look at it carefully, we've got the redstone torch here, and a redstone torch here, and just leads into another one. In an AND gate, there are three redstone torches. If we break that up a bit more, look at that. Okay, so we have the button come down into a redstone torch, leading into another redstone torch. And we can probably simplify that a little more, and put it down here. And look, it's another AND gate. We just extend it out a bit. We can even bring it down a bit, and... Then, bam, bam, and let's just connect that all up. Oh, there we are, perfect. It's an AND gate, so that's how you can see it. Three uh, redstone torches, two of them leading into a single output, right there. And yeah, that's basically your AND gate. So that's a cool little demonstration of what you can do with some of the logic gates. Now I also have another cool idea as well. So, this circuit is activates when daylight sentence is on. So remember, this is our activator, our trigger. So if the daylight sentence is on, so when it turns daytime, and if the lever is on, so that means that we have two triggers here. All right. Then we have the, um, well, this is more of the event, isn't it? Uh, or either one could be actually the event, that could be the trigger, and that could be the event. 
Um, and then we have the output, which is the player play sound and to crush the cow. Now we have also have another circuit with that. We have got our pressure players activated and they'll turn on the light. So these are two separate things, but they'll um, help us with our little contraption here. So all it does is, when a cow pops in here, and we go, oh look, there's a cow. And if it's day, which it should be right now, it might be raining at the moment, but oh well, it doesn't matter. And we can crush the cow, only works during the day. And we hear a sound, and then the cow gets crushed. And then as soon as the cow is finished being crushed, the, a light turns on, and it just signifies that there are items to be collected. So we just come in here, pick up the items, and it turns off. And then we can also yeah, flip that lever again. So let's look at this. Uh, we've got our input, and that goes into an AND gate. This just checks if it's daytime or not. And if it is daytime, and the lever is flipped, it will turn this redstone torch off, therefore turning this on. And then it will play our sound, like we said. And then it will go into our piston. Now that's done, uh, we ha also have our other circuit, which detects if there is an item on it. So that as soon as there's an item there, the repeater will s uh, strengthen the signal of from the weighted pressure plate, and that will just go into the light. So if we throw something on there, there we are. And that's glitching out a bit. Cool. So yeah, that's how basically that works. So yeah, that's a few examples of what you can do with logic gates. Uh, so yeah, th hopefully logic gates will help you um, build some more of your ideas uh, building this. There are some other types of circuits which we will go over next time. There are things called pulse, pulse circuits and memory circuits, things like that, which also come in very handy later on. So we'll go over that next time. Uh, if you're wondering when we're getting into some more advanced stuff, don't worry, we'll get into that very, very soon. But we need to get through all this basic stuff that some people might not know of. Logic circuits are quite difficult, so there will be a link in the description to the wiki where you can uh, look at some of these designs. There are some other uh, alternative designs that use other things like pistons. And we may go over some of those uh, at a later stage, but yeah, these are mostly the basic designs, so you can understand them very easily how they work. I didn't go into too much detail, but you can look online and yeah, find out yourself how to do all this cool stuff. So that's it for today guys. Hopefully these logic gates will come in handy and I will catch you guys. Next